Hello YouTube, it's GoFensive and no, as you can see this is not Battlefield 3, this is actually Race Driver Grid, a game that came out like 6 years ago, I think it was in 2007 if I'm not mistaken, and Grid 2 its successor is going to come out in 2 weeks, on the 31st of May, so it's just 2 weeks before this comes out, not even, like 12 or 11 days, I'm not perfectly sure, and... Since I love this first game, I pre ordered Grid 2 on Steam and I thought, thought to myself, okay, let's try Grid out again and kind of warm up for Grid 2 so I can just dive into it. And then I said to myself, okay, why not just share it with you guys out there? So once the game comes out, Grid 2, I will make Grid 2 videos and this is sort of a warm up type deal where I go through all the disciplines like Freestyle Drift, Pro Togi. Midnight, GT1, and all the stuff you can do in this game, which is quite a lot actually. And I'm gonna start off with Drift GP, one of my most favorite game modes in here. I'm gonna use the same settings that I did with the video I just uploaded before this. So if you see this right now, you'll pretty much, I'm pretty sure you saw the other video where I just did some music over the gameplay or the replay, but whatever. And why shall we not just dive into the race and see how it goes? Alright. Alright, as you can see right here, this car is pretty fast. But that's just what you want, because you want to maintain high speeds while drifting. Not too high, so you gotta be kind of careful to maintain your drifts for a long time because you want to keep this combo up there up all race. You don't want to break the combo ever, which is kind of risky sometimes on other tracks because there are walls and if you hit a wall within a combo, all the points you gain doing this combo are gone. They are just don't exist anymore, so you gotta be careful with this because if you like I'm going to try here, drift three entire laps in one combo and you break the combo like combo breaker you are boned because you get zero points for it and you will lose the race so it's kinda risky but it's also a high reward because you get tons of points for that like millions of points, I'm not even joking and you also don't wanna miss all these flags like I'm doing right now see I'm, I'm not really trained right now I think the other one I uploaded was 37 million. Let's we'll see if I can beat that. I guess not. He's already fucked up his first round quite quite a bit. See, I'm already did one lap, and I'm still in my combo. And I want to maintain this the entire time because this gives the most points, and this is what we want in order to win the game, especially online. See, I'm not perfectly sure if this game mode will translate completely into grid 2 so it's gonna be the same I think it's gonna be quite a bit different but it's some good getting used to the, the mechanics of the drift in general in video games because it's pretty similar to other games I mean yes you may have played shift 2 where it's a little bit different but still the same you maintain the drift as long as possible and you get insane points and I got just got drift legend right here I don't like when ha that happens. Also, get as close to those flags as possible because you get massive points for it. And doing this right now, just maintaining the drifts and hitting them all the time is pretty much just getting used to. I'm pretty much stepping on the gas, ped pedal to the metal, and occasionally, every time the car kind of stutters, I just press the handbrake shortly, just very sure. This is pure handbrake drifting right here on the straight, in order not to lose the combo. And you only got a short time window to maintain your combo to start a new drift. So keep that in mind. And don't use the handbrake too much, because if you go too slow, your drift may just interrupt itself and your combo breaks and you don't want your combo to break ever. <laughs> I think I already said that like a thousand times but it's actually the most important part of this game mode just don't break the combo 
It's 41 now. If you can do the math, that's at least 20 million right now. If you see the points on the left side. That's what you want to do all game. Which is harder on other maps. Or other tracks, I admit. But this is the best to practice on, in my opinion. You can also practice some downhill drift. This is pretty good for tight turns. Or very, very risky maneuvers. Which you can train there quite a bit. Also... Those dark on Yokohama are pretty good tracks to practice drifting on because it's a little bit more difficult than on this one. Also, want to add a few more to my combo because this is almost over and we're done. And no, I did not beat it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't. And I hope you get the idea of. How to control and how to get big points in this game mode. I will make other videos like this. Probably next time I'll do a pretty solid basic racing game mode instead of drifting. I think I'm gonna start off with pro tuning because that's one of my favorite. So I wanna thank you really much for watching. And this is the final score by the way right here. And see you next time.